Coach Agazzino, first things first, tough one against Graham. Yeah, yeah. But won the first two. Won the first two, beat uh, Medina Highland and then Kenston. Okay. Which I know you're not happy about. I'm not, I'm pretty angry. I can't, I'm going to actually stop you're the bomber interview. Guy now. Yeah, I'm a bomber. bomber dad. Bomber dad, that's right. We, they could have thrown Tommy out for 45 pounds. I know. They could have cheated a little bit. We could have jacked his transcripts like up. It. Like We're into that, you know. Whatever. Do you got a 45? Yeah. So he would have actually murdered Thomas. Okay. Yeah, not necessarily. Decapitation. I mean, Tommy might have punched him in the face. It's true. Then got murdered. It's true. <laughs> okay. So you guys are two and one on the day. Now you're in the big pools. You got Brexville, and you're gonna have Perrysburg, right? It looks yeah. like. What do you want the kids to get out of this? Just competing hard again. This is all preparation for the end of the year, but you know it's it's always good to wrestle local. Um, We've been all over the country this year with some of our hammers, uh, so it's good to wrestle local competition guys that we're going to see at the OAC tournament uh, as we kind of get into you know duels and things like that. When you come to something like this, obviously you guys want to win it. You've won it the last couple of years. Not going to probably leave with yeah. the title today. What do you say to the kids on that? Um, I mean, it's it's a bonus, but again, we're, we're trying to win the OAC state title. That's always our goal. Um, and the individual performance is so good to wrestle against local competition to see what we need to work on for the state tournament. Um, it just, you know, like I said, still really early, still basically two and a half months to get better. Anybody that's going to double up and go this afternoon, will Max Seiko double up? Max is doubling up. Of course got, he is. Yeah, we got a, we'll have a couple guys doubling up. It's a long day, but um, it's actually moving pretty quick. They said they're going to be done by two. I was like, no way, but they're actually on pace right now. It's the OAC. Are you joking? They have a spare mat, dude. They have a spare mat down there. What is, what's, what's this guy doing? What's he doing? What's he? Officer Mike Boyd. Yeah, what's he doing? Why is he back trying to like... I don't know. He's pulling his shirt up. Pulling his shirt up, doing funny stuff, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, ultimately, you guys move forward from here, and now this, the OAC stretch starts for you guys. Yeah. You did most of the national stuff already, the arena, the Tulsa, yeah. and you go defense soap usually has a duel there. Guy sponsors most events, so right. now you're sticking mainly in Ohio. Do you like this stretch of the season? Yeah, it's nice. Um, we've got our junior high guys wrestling at Owen Tangy next weekend, mechanics for so it's nice to stay local. Um, travel can be kind of hard on the kids, especially if we're cutting weight or something like that. Not that we do much cutting anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's important to wrestle this stretch, to wrestle local competition, guys that we're going to wrestle at the OEC tournament. Okay, so one of the most legendary wrestlers and officials in the state of Ohio, your grandfather yes. just passed away. Sorry yeah. to hear that. Thank you. Uh, but what did he mean to you guys, and what do you think he meant to the wrestling community? I mean, he meant a ton. I mean, uh, you know, the wrestling's great, but the relationships that he had with the referees, and just, you know, obviously getting a lot of phone calls and um, seeing people in person, Ray Anthony and all those guys, the referees, always taking care of him. So his legacy, you know, as much as he accomplished as a referee and as, as a competitor, on that 1951 team, I think just... What did they do? First of all, Vince Matucci was on the Cleveland East. Cleveland West. Cleveland West. West High. West West High. High which is West Park, essentially, right? Uh, not really. What is it? West High is like uh, over by like Mount Carmel. Right? Okay, okay. So, but he was on the one of the greatest high school teams in the yeah, history. Yeah, 1951, they had... Six champs? Six champs, ten weight classes. So oh, I my God. Graham had seven the one year. Um, but the way that I'm going to make So the 51 team of Vince yeah. Matucci had six champs with only 10 weeks. 60% of the weight classes were state champs. And then they had, I think, uh, their best guy was actually Pepe Rocco who passed away last year. Was so every guy an Italian? There was a lot of Italians. Mostly uh, Italians. Really? And they, I think, like, I think five of them were in the same kindergarten picture together. So, so your your dad's last name is Agazzino. Your yeah. mom's maiden name is Matucci. Yeah. I would say you're pretty Italian. I'm pretty Italian. <laughs> FBI, full-blown Italian. But... but, but yeah, I never heard that one. Yeah. But Vince Matucci's legacy is, is incredible, right? It's going right. to go on for years to come. Obviously, the Chief Wahoo thing, we love that. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Are there real stuff. sketches? Are there real sketches? Um, I have a couple pictures, but my aunt from Alaska that has them, uh, I think she might be trying to bring them. That's so, crazy. Yeah. When is his service? It'll be next Friday. So 10, they're not doing a traditional wake, so 10 to 12 will be visitation, and then the funeral service will find immediately after noon. So, and where is it? In West Park? It'll be at Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, where where Old yeah. West High was. Right. Holy smoke! So he's he was entrenched. Yeah. yeah. The roots were set. Yeah. Yeah. So how old was Vince? Uh, 89. 89. Yeah, I remember him doing the the rules interpretation forever, and it went to Lyle, Lyle Smith, right. Ray Anthony. Uh, right, yeah. You yeah. Know, Ray had some great stories. I love those guys. Yeah. And Ray had a great story about how my grandpa was kind of kind of cold over first and then they end up becoming like the dearest of friends uh and ray was with them until the very end it's, it's really cool so when you, we're talking about legacy 
you know, the wrestling's great, but I think the relationships and lives that we touch, the friendships, you know, that's really what, what it always comes down to. And it's like, I can tell you, like, when my grandfather, Ferd Miller, when he, it was like, it's time, they're in a better place. It's how I felt about it. Yeah. And then my, my wife's grandmother just died 99, 12 hours yeah. short of 100. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The day before 100th birthday. Yeah. Betty yeah, crazy. Like a couple weeks short of yeah. So sometimes it's in a better place than you. I, I feel, you know, that they're at peace, right? I agree. Is that how like, you feel? Yeah. Last last couple of years have been tough. It's how it's been on, kind of on the deep time. Um, so to see just, you know, kind of relief and just kind of peace is uh, is always comforting. All right, Charlie. How much? Uh, how much? Two more matches? Two more. Will you turn. stick around for the afternoon? Of course. You're, you're hardcore, dude. Do. You're hardcore. <laughs> All right, you got anything else for me? Okay, are you gonna throw this back at me if I give this to you? I, don't, I, I want, I can give this whatever I want. I wanted to give it to someone else that maybe doesn't know about it. Maybe they're having a tough day, they need the battle. So I sorry. mean, that that's almost gotta make you barf, the amount of it you're, that you are no, dealing with every day. No. I said, normally I keep the holster, right? I just <laughs> quick draw it out. But... Hey, thanks for the time. Yeah. Defend what you built, good luck to you guys. Yeah,